Hi, I'm Catherine Mastroda, and I am the Center Director at Omni Eye Surgery in New York, which is an optometric referral center. And for a good part of my professional career, I have been interested in ocular surface disease with a specific interest in the lid margin. And that interest has led me to investigating and thinking about Demodex. Now, Demodex is a ubiquitous skin mite. And we know from our predecessors that the mite is present in about 84% of individuals who are over 60 years old and up to all of us, 100% of patients who are over 70. So we are all pretty much harboring some populations of Demodex mites. Now, um, it's become important because there is mounting evidence that overpopulation of the Demodex mites causes skin disease, particularly rosacea, blepharitis, and even corneal disease. So when we're thinking about patients who have a recalcitrant lid disease or ocular surface complaints or blepharitis, we should really start to think about Demodex as um, the cause of this, Demodex overpopulation. Demodex is not new, and as a matter of fact, it was an anatomist who uh, named Henley in 1841 who discovered or found the, the Demodex mite folliculorum, which is the one that's um, the human Demodex mite. And of particular interest is us eye doctors is Demodex folliculorum and its cousin Demodex brevis. Now Demodex, anyone who um, has dogs knows about Demodex mange, that's Demodex canis. So it's not really far-fetched to understand how these little mites can cause us some kind of trouble either with the skin or uh, in the eye or the ocular surface. Now, um, it wasn't really until 50 years later that an Italian dermatologist identified Demodex mites in the meibomian glands and in the eyelash follicle. And interest in Demodex has waxed and waned. Uh, every few decades it, it becomes popular and hot again. And um, Custon in the 1960s was very interested in Demodex and that's really where we see it getting involved in uh, ocular disease, particularly blepharitis. And the peaks and troughs of Demodex interest has come and gone, and now it's of interest again, probably because there's so much interest in ocular surface disease and meibomian gland dysfunction from the workshops and the uh, dues report. So we're back thinking about Demodex again. In 2009, the Blepharitis in the United States study documented that um, optometrists and eye care professionals are, are noticing blepharitis in about 37 to 47 percent of our patients, which translates into 80 to 90 million Americans who have blepharitis, or at least have the diagnosis of blepharitis. So now all of a sudden we have all these patients who we really have to think, think about Demodex being involved in their concerns. So I think a lot of research, a lot of thinking, a lot of um, evidence we need when we think about Demodex and how to find them, how to treat them. There are no protocols. So this is a huge area for all, all eye care professionals to get engaged in.